Long live the queen! Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the 5-2 Toys Mega Box Aliens Xenomorph Queen! So here we are, and there she is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front, here we have, I killed her, sorry, but right up front we have the queen in both of her modes. She is the Xenomorph Queen from Aliens plural. On the side of the box, we have the queen. On the other side of the box, we have Mega Box. Up top, we have the queen and the power loader. I do have the power loader. We will be taking a look at that in the near future. On the bottom, caution, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And on the back, you have some schematic images, some product shots, things, that stuff, and the other. And we have Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. Then, moving right along, here we have the Xenomorph Queen from Aliens, the sequel to Alien. But yeah, here we have the Queen herself in all her glory, and another very, very cool release here from 5-2 Toys. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. You can see nice silver there for the teeth. And some nice detail going on here. You also get some gold paint apps throughout some nice molded detail you get the claws done in a silver but overall some nice detailing here moving down the legs we got some more of those gold tempographs no toesies the tailsies got the spikes back here but overall really Really nicely done, in my opinion. All hail the queen. All hail the queen, indeed. And now, all articulation-wise, the head has multiple points of articulation here. You have a double joint right in here. You also have a ball joint here, so you can pretty much get that head moving wherever you want. This section of the head is also on a uh, double hinge and a ball socket, so you can kind of get that moving wherever you want. Pretty much get it. Oops, we have that also, but we're not going to talk about that just yet gimmicks gimmicks but anyway you have these little arms here which are on a ball joint so you have your wiggly waggly in there you also have a hinge here and a hinge there that can move both ways um the arms can rotate into a full 360 in and out rotation oh, there's no bicep but you do have an elbow joint which gives you about that much bend you also have this hinge here that can move up and down this section is all ball joint as well so you have rotation in and out wiggly waggly the hand can rotate you have these i guess these are her thumbs her two thumbs which are on ball joints they can move in and out and rotate um nothing at the waist but the legs can rotate and do a full 360 again you have in and out in and out um you can shift this outward but that's more for transformation but you can bring those legs out if you want to uh knees you have the digital grade knees this one can move forward and back then you have this that can move forward and back you have this little bit here that can wiggle around if you want the feet are on a hinge and a ball joint you have that hinge there that can move forward and back and the foot is on a ball joint you have upward downward tilted rotationage all that good stuff and the toes and the heels can also move for supporting any posing the tail is on a ball joint at the base you have wiggly waggly there and you have a hinge 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 hinge, hinge. lots of hinges just lots of hinges so you can pretty much get that tail positioned however you want and even these spikes back here are on hinges so you can kind of angle those however you wish so there you have that and for comparison uh, here she is with the uh, regular Xenomorph that we reviewed previously. And you can see just how much larger the Queen is than our regular little Xenomorph dude. So you can see how that works out. So there you go. Now, as far as gimmicks go, um, you already saw it happen by accident, but you can open her mouth and boop, and the second little mouth pops out. <laughs> Again, pretty cool. They incorporated that little gimmick and you just push it in, close the mouth back up. And there you go. Resets. But yeah, 
Good little gimmick right there. And uh, yeah, that is basically it. There's no accessories. What you see is what you get, other than the box charger, obviously. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the queen in this mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's. So to get her transformed up, we're going to take uh, these side sections here. We're going to bring them up and fold this little tip in. Bring that up. And fold the tip in these sections here just fold these in like so uh, these spikes here you're just going to bring them all up bring them all up and then just angle them out the head itself you want to bring back on this double hinge just bring that back and accordion that like so uh, you want to take the legs here and you want to bring those hips out as far back as they will go and then you're going to compress the waist down now one thing that's a little bit annoying about this figure is that there's there's clearance issues there's a lot of stuff that just kind of gets in the way but it's okay you can work around it but you want to tab these two little arms together and then they will just fold up and they will tuck in right here like so and then you can take the head. The head is just going to tuck down like this. Again, use all those hinges that are in there. And the head is just going to tuck down like that. So now, kind of get the legs out of the way. Uh, the arms, you have these little spikes here. You just want to flip this all the way down. There's one on the shoulder also that you're going to just flip down. You're going to bring the elbow back. Then bring the hand down. You want to rotate it out so it's sitting like that and then rotate the hand inward so the palm is facing in. You're going to take her thumbs here and you're going to rotate them 180. And then bring them together and they will tab together like that. You can see what's going on there. So you want everything sitting in this orientation when it's all said and done. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. The second verse, of course, is just like the first. So just try to get that leg out of your way as best you can. And bring that spike down. Bring this spike down. Bring this back. Bring it down. You want to rotate it out. Rotate the hand in. Uh, take the thumbs. Swing them around and bring them in and tab them together like so and once you've done that there's little hook tabs in here that are going to hook onto the arms themselves so just line those up and they'll hook in just like that don't know how well you can see that but you can see they're just hooking in right up in there so there you have that so now we can work on the legs so these bits here, just bring that all the way down. Take this, bring this all the way down. Fold in the heel and then fold in the toe. You want to rotate the foot in. Then you're just going to collapse the whole leg up like so. Bring the foot up and you have a tab slot connection right here for the foot. Just tab that in like that. And then you just take the whole leg and just rotate that up into the body. And that will just kind of angle in like that. So we're going to secure everything in a little bit. So again, sit to your side, just make sure this is as far down as it goes. Bring that down, flip in the heel, flip in the toe, collapse all this up, rotate the foot in, and then bring it up. That will tab in. Like so. Boop. And then just rotate the leg like that, and then just angle it in, like so. You can see it all coming together. You do have a tab slot connection right here for the arm and the thigh. Just make sure all that is out of the way. There you go, you a tab slot connection right there. And just gonna do that on the other side as well. Just connect that all together, like so. And this section here has a little tab slot connection right there. So just bring that down and tab that in on either side. Just make sure you have everything lined up. 
just right. And all that should just tab right in. Right there. Nice and solid light. There we go. And then the hands are going to come up and you have a tab that will go just in this slot here in the palm. Just work that in, bring that up, and that will just slot in right there, like that. And you also have tabs here that are on the forearms that are gonna go into these notches here on either side of the tail. So bring that out and just tab that in on either side like so like that and that's how you want that looking right there just notched in there like so so now we just have to do the tail so the tail is just going to accordion up like that just boom use all these hinges boom boom and the tip you're just going to curl up pretty much like that and that's how you want that looking and then you can just bring all of this up into the body like so and then this will come down and you have little posts that will go into this little port right here so just bring that down and plug the one side in plug the other side in there you go get all nice and scrozen and there you go. There you have the Xenomorph Queen in her box mode. Good spin. And again, this is just fantastic to me. Just so, so very impressive. Because you saw how much bigger the Queen is to the regular Xenomorph and yet still compresses up into the same size box. And that is just a testament to the engineering here. Now, this is something I talk about pretty often when it comes to figure design, is that the designers, they have restrictions, they have parameters that they have to work within. They don't always have the final say. They have to do what they're told and how they're told to do it. And 5-2 Toys have given themselves one specific restriction. That. <laughs> These are your parameters. This is what you have to work with, no matter what beast, what character, whatever you're making. It has to end up fitting in this box. And again, you saw just how much larger the queen is from the regular Xenomorph, and yet they still managed to get her to fit in this box. And again, that is legitimately impressive to me. So again, kudos to the engineers, kudos to the designers. They never cease to impress me with this line. And uh, yeah, very cool. <laughs> so there you go. So there you have the Xenomorph Queen, and uh, yeah, I continue to be impressed with what 5-2 Toys is putting out. Just really fun figures, just amazing engineering in my opinion, just overall. So very enjoying this line, so very much enjoying this line. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of 5-2 Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Mega Box Beast Box playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the 5 2 Toys Mega Box Xenomorph Queen. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Bomb in your face.